only taking a break. It's probably a good time. It looks like no one is following us anymore. How can you tell? Hmm. Intuition, I suppose. Intuition? Anyway, we should be fine here. Let's rest for now. When we have time to take a longer rest, we've got to decide a few things about our guild. What is it with you and taking breaks? What do you hope to accomplish by starting a guild? Accomplish? Hmm. I want our guild to become really big! And then someday we'll follow in the Dawn's footsteps and protect Dawngrest ourselves! That way, I can show him my gratitude for all the years he's defended the city! That's a wonderful dream, Carol. I'll just stick with the boss here. Huh? B boss Me? You were the first one to bring up this crazy idea. <laughs> I guess you're right. So, what's the first order of business? To calm down. Yeah. <laughs> you make guilds sound like fun. Why don't you join the guild as well, Judith? Hmm, I wonder. Do you think they'd let me? The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws will be severely punished, even friends or family. The laws are the source of a guild's pride. No one can be admitted without making a solemn pledge to uphold them. And what are the laws of your guild, Carol? Um... Everybody's supporting each other and always acting with the interests of the guild in mind. Striving to always do the right thing while punishing those who don't. What do you mean? All for the guild and the guild for all. Do justice and punish the unjust. Everyone's opinion will be valued so long as it doesn't go against these laws. Yuri, that's just what I... Right, boss? All for the guild and the guild for all. Yeah, that's it. Those are our laws. It looks like these will be my laws from now on as well. Sure it's okay to make up your mind like that? Yes, you've got me curious. All for the guild. I like the way that sounds. Well then? I pledge to uphold the laws. For the guild's sake, and my own. How about your partner? Thanks for your concern, but it's all right. He won't mind. Your partner? A friend I was traveling with earlier. Huh. I didn't know you had someone like that. Okay, so from today on, we'll be your new partners, Judith. I look forward to it. Me too. <laughs> then, I... Okay, let's call it a day for now. Yeah, I almost forgot how sore I am.
We can find some work to do now that we've made our guild. Easy, Tiger. So, Estelle, what are you gonna do? I want to go looking for that talking monster. If it was me he was after, I want to find out why. Don't feel like you'll be able to rest easy till you find out, huh? But how will you do that? How can you look for a monster if you have no idea where it is? I thought you were in charge of all the monster-related information. Don't ask me! Even I've never seen anything like that before. That was no monster. His name is Pharaoh. Do you know about him? I saw him earlier when I was traveling with my friend, and it was my friend who knew his name. Why would your friend know the name of something like that? Where did you see it? It was on the Desire continent, in the sands of Kogor. That's the continent to the southwest of Tolbikia. The continent of Desier. The desert. You don't just go marching off to a desert because someone saw a monster. He's right, you know. I wonder if that fairy tale could be... Fairy tale? Something I read at the castle. A tale about a monster that speaks, who lives in the sands of Kagor. There are always stories like that. Like the one about the monster in the sea who talks to people. I think you've got it backwards. Backwards? Such creatures do exist, but they have simply become the stuff of legend. It's like the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah, but are you thinking of going all the way to a place like that alone, Estelle? Huh? Well, I... If we don't keep up this little bodyguard operation, she'll really march off on her own. What do you think? Let's take this as our first guild assignment. Hey, you're right! We'd be breaking our own laws if we let her go alone. That's right. But if this is a real job, we'll have to charge Estelle our fee. Oh, we don't need to worry about something like money, right? Nope, no exceptions. Money is a necessity for running a guild. Um, I'm afraid I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. In that case, why don't we just figure something out later? I'll pay the fee, I promise. So let's all go together. Okay, looks like that settles it. This way we can all continue the journey. All right, super ultra courageous brains, fall out! What is that? Huh? That's our guild's name. We can't go with that. We need something easy to say that has a real snap to it. Oh, really? Well... How about something like... Brave Vesperia. It's the star that gives off the brightest light in the night sky. The brightest star. Cool! Brave Vesperia. Huh. 
I like it. Let's stick with that. Okay, that settles it. Let's get to Torum Harbor and charter a boat. We're off on an ocean voyage to the continent of Desier. Didn't you want to take a break at Halyard? Ah, uh, who needs it? Either way, we can't get to Torum without passing through Heliod. I'd also like to see how they've been doing since the Blastia went out of control. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. All right, we'll just stop in for a quick look around the city. Okay. So, first to Heliord, then from Torum to Desier by boat. Okay, I'll try again. Brave Vesperia! <laughs> <laughs> 